everybody, it's Stella Hello. here. I'm tired. <laughs> From Maple University. <laughs> Good morning, evening, afternoon. Morning, afternoon, evening. And happy Valentine's Day for those Who in Australia. On Sunday. Oh, on Sunday, which is in Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, and so on. So welcome to our live stream. We do this every weekend, similar time. And this week we are excited to play Rococo Deluxe Edition and the one that just came out from Kickstarter. Yes, so this was... When was Rococo first out? It was a few years ago now. Oh, years, yeah, a few years ago. 20, I, I didn't check before this, but I feel like it was 2014 or 15 or something like that. Anyone remember? Feel mm. free to write in the comment section. Uh, everyone... And this just had the uh, the Eagle Griffin Deluxification. Deluxification. Deluxification, thank you. So, by the way, just a um, uh, little minor things out of the way. We are using a new camera. I don't know if you know this. We've look a little bit more colorful than our normally uh, or our normal stream so let us know if there's any issue it looks like it's good I tested a little bit um, a few days ago it was it seems fine so hopefully it will be going smoothly let me know if there's any issue and so on and we are saying hello to eloquent morning Stella and Taran. good morning eloquent Kevin C. Hello, Kevin. Welcome, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. You both look so happy this morning. Indeed. <laughs> I woke up with less shoulder pain this morning. I've got this new, like, just like a massage thing on the neck. Um, if anyone has got some sore neck and everything, this is like, I would <coughs> highly recommend. It's <laughs> anyway. better than my thumbs and it doesn't get tired. No, no, your thumb is the best. It's just that I don't want you to get tired. Um, and we've got... Chris Judd from Facebook, hello! Uh, Valentine's Day celebration? Yes! So, uh, you guys look super good, color is great. Thank you for the feedback. Nemo Mangold, we've got Mauricio Gerard, Rene Raps, hello Rene. Uh, Pavlos Cafias, happy Valentine's Day! Good morning, Zling! Uh, from Australia to Australia, oh, <laughs> good to know! And Jen Wei, he, hello everybody here! So, um, what was that question? Yeah, so thank you for the feedback. Um, looks like we are you know um the stream looks good with the with the new camera and i've got um wearing my um cheesy special t-shirt today on valentine's day for taran you what does it say you you are extraordinary you are, you are and eggs pictures of eggs and bread <laughs> why not it's thematic yes yeah and i'm just wearing my sandrican colored uh Shirt like I do probably every second week. I think we're all probably <laughs> sick of seeing what, me in it. One of Jared's favorite dishes. What are you doing? I'm just uh, showing more cute things. So this is a mug, I, mug that I received from Stella for yeah. the, for the day. What mug is this? Show name. it. Show it closer. This mm. new camera has got uh, one of the best quick focus mm. that I've seen. Maybe You're not. my main squeeze, and it's lemon. <laughs> so that's cute, but I found it three days ago by mistake, looking for Twixes. I hide the Twixes. I've got a few Twixes. Taron could not control himself, so I had to hide the Twix, and then he got it, and then this was with, with the Twix. I wasn't hunting. I'm allowed to know where the Twixes are, but like having it in a drawer uh, helps my self-control. Um, <laughs> Twix is a chocolate bar, by the way, for yep. those who doesn't... Um, who's not? I don't know. Is it in America and Canada and all yeah. over the world? Yeah. Remember, I showed you that Seinfeld episode where. Um, oh yes, yes. Where George really wanted Twix <laughs> and he yelled Twix a lot. <laughs> That's it. So that was. Our and I remember story. I've had Twixes in. Uh, is it twices? I'm not sure what the plural <laughs> is. Um, I remember having them in Denmark. Oh. Tasted well, a little different, but. Share us your Twix stories. Well, any stories, you know. What do you do on Valentine's Day? I'm not actually, to be honest, I'm not that big on Valentine's. I just feel like, you know, it's not just, it's not only for couples. It could be for friends. Could just, you know, basically share the love for yeah. to your friends, family, and so on. And also, Happy Lunar New Year for those who are celebrating. That as well, yes. Because that, of course, was... Uh, was Friday the day, or I know it's always a, a, a big this celebration. This weekend, yes. So. Unfortunately, this is locked down right here in Melbourne. So yeah, so Melbourne's had a, uh, a change of circumstances over the last quite recently. So on Friday, uh, we went from relatively few restrictions into the 
hardest level of lockdown restrictions yeah. for five days because they had a few Just few nap. cases coming out and yep. so they um, did a five day lockdown to mm. hopefully contain contain yeah. it all in one go. But that's people's something, wedding and everything. That's something a few yeah. of the Australian states have been doing. Mm. Um, but yes, it happened on Lunar New Year and Valentine's Day. So yeah, I know there's a lot of uh, retailers events. out there who relying on this weekend for one of the busiest weekend. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, I'm going to mm -hmm. quickly look uh, back at the chat. So Solomon Green, love this game. Yes. So uh, I played this game probably a few years ago, not this edition, the previous edition. Yeah. Uh, we got a friend that really, really loved this game and also like the new edition. Um, there are some expansions in this game. We only used one expansion which is the, um, it's not going to change the game much, it's just going to be extra... Extra pieces, no pieces, new yeah. mechanics. Yes, like it's got this, you know, little symbol which, you know, we should... Well, let me know if you have any questions. It is going to be a big board, so let us know if you want us to zoom in on certain things and we'll um, hopefully be able to do it for you. I play Castle, so Lit... Litfi, hey all, play Castle of Duskany today. After watching your explanation video, it was perfect. We could play. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Glad to help. Make that dress, low. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Taryn needs a punch it. Oh, yeah. So Eloquence, this has got a good idea. You need a punch it. Oh, you've got a few. i got a couple. Yeah. They're have on the obscure side. <laughs> Themis says to Taryn, have to fell on Dunsia, you sexy beasts. Oh, that's maybe. <laughs> I'm uh, not more than one beast. Delota, hi, me. Will you visit your local coast? Lovely Euro and indeed I agree. Uh, watching you guys while I'm sorting Merlin big box. Ooh, I haven't said I haven't played Merlin yet. I want to play Merlin soon. Cute top Stella. Thank you so much, Chris. Mm. Uh, happy Fallen Dance Day from Elena uh, and Jenny. Agree, it's a nice map. Thank you very much. And Georgia Pay, sorry if I miss anyone. Um, Twix is the one that George contains. So yes, Twix is in Canada. Confirm. <laughs> Beat me to the reference. <laughs> um, just take a pill. Uh, we've got a lot of people. I'm so happy to still be able to chat with you today. So if you have any questions in regards to anything, and you know about the questions as well, please put into chat. I'll try to look um, on the chat. Uh, means that Taryn's probably going to win the game again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so we say Fallon Thanks is commercial thing. Yes, yeah, some some of them it is commercial thing. It just uh, just remind us basically of the yeah, to love everybody. I have ordered a special lunch delivery for Fallon Thanks. We're in lockdown um, from Thai. Mm, hi Thai, I'm sorry you're in lockdown. Lockdown 3.0. Uh, and Paphos. Oh, Damus is in Thai And Nemon Mangalik. Oh, so Nemo Mang. Mangok, sorry if I pronounce the name incorrectly, FYI, your Anno 1800 is the best tutorial for the game. Our group has really enjoyed the game after watching your video. Thank you so much for that. It really means a lot because, you know, we not the biggest... Yeah, no. <laughs> I like, what are you doing? We're not the biggest channel and if you, you know, um, appreciate that, um, I'm sure you have like or comment on the video because that would also help us actually if you like and comment on the video. Georgia, um, is that your boss, Joe? No. <laughs> Are you joking? And Henry, it's good morning. All right, we should probably get started uh, on to the game now, Tara. On to the game. Mm -hmm. We should tell, um, because now we've got um, a few people here. We're just going to share you the, I guess, the giveaway okay. password. How about that? Yes, so what are the, what are we giving away? A copy of Rococo, mm -hmm. I assume. Yeah, I think I must have put it. I when I install a new camera, I think I haven't like put it the other way around. So time okay. keep talking. Okay. <laughs> I'll fix this. Um, so the um, yeah, this will be a giveaway for a copy of Rococo Deluxe. Is this a worldwide giveaway? Yes. Yeah. Okay, worldwide giveaway. Um, and to enter. Head to meepleuniversity.com slash giveaway and put in the very interesting password, which is, I can't stretch, hey, there we go, <laughs> Hela. <laughs> Just a little boo-boo, this is when I set up this new camera, I was like, oh, you know, we, um, I forgot to put the layer up anyway, so it's like technical things. 
So that is it. Taylor is the password. So as usual, go to mipuluniversity.com slash giveaway and you'll be greeted by a simple form which you can yes. fill in a few seconds, I'm sure, and enter the password. And we'll draw at the end of this live playthrough as usual. Um, mm -hmm. We've got Lars Toft from Denmark. Is it like Lara Toft as in like the... Anyway, it doesn't matter. No. Lars. Lars. Yeah. Like it reminds very me of Danish, La very Danish name. It reminds me of Lara in, of Croft. Croft. Of Doom Ray. Right. Right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Every time I say I love that name, Lars Toff. Beautiful game. Thank you, Elena. Alright, let's take to the take us to the table. Let's do it. Let's do it. All so right, here so we are. We're a little bit uh, off center, so we can fit the whole thing on the board, but that's all good. Uh, this is a game of uh, tailoring and dressmaking in the Rococo era. So Louis the, I think 15 or 16? Louis the 15th 15, era, yes. yeah. Um, uh, having a grand ball where the royalties, the famous people, if you're important, you invited probably. So we are um, owners, uh, we owners of Taylor Shops and we are trying to make the best dresses, rent it out to the guests, sell it, make it make the most money and essentially earn the most points yeah so the game's played over seven rounds um you'll see a very big board but a lot of this is um there's a basically everything up here is uh area controlled to where we put our our pieces when we're done the actions all happen down here and the actions are relatively simple we're collecting cloth we're collecting lace and thread we're using those to complete these um, dresses and frock coats, which are you know, essentially a little order fulfillment mechanic. And then when we do that, we're putting them up into these areas. There are some bonuses we can get when we place them. Uh, there are majority points to be scored on each of these. And then there are some, um, some decorations and statues and bonuses we can pay for with money as well. And really, that's the game. Over seven rounds, um, we'll be trying to do those things. Where this becomes an interesting game is the card play, uh, the card play mechanics. So we've got all these employee cards of three different types, bronze, silver, and gold. Uh, on each turn, we'll have to play. On each round, we pick three of the cards. We have access to all of our hands, by the yep. way. The one that's unplayed. Yep. So on each round, we pick three. On each turn we play one, uh, we do any action we want as long as that colour of worker qualifies because there are some that you can only do with a gold worker or some you can only like do with one. gold or silver. Yep. And then there's a bonus down the bottom of the card as well. Uh, so we sort of do two actions per turn. Yeah. Oh, hello Liv. Liv is our friend. Hello. Hello. Uh, from Facebook. I uh, wish I played this enough to justify getting the light version. Yeah, that's fair enough. Do you have the previous version? That's my question. I think I think I think you do. I can't remember actually. All right. So I think uh, we'll we? be recruiting more employees as the game goes on. Should we use the? No, that's okay. You we use, can this, use one. this token. From above, that one works better. There is a little figurine for this, but from above it works. Well, let's show it. Show it. Show it. I want to see it. <laughs> luxurious uh, GS twenty four. Hello, luxurious luxurious design. Yes. So this is the. Um, and we need the yeah. reference sheet as well. Handy, please. So this is the um, figure. In. Oh my God! Look, look at this. Like, um, sorry, it's and this is. Is this the actual thing? Oh, no, I I feel like this is the first play maker marker. It's a bit too thick. Uh, a bit too thick to be used as a thimble. Yeah, a thimble. That's it. Yeah. Everything else is beautiful, and the player board is pretty good because it tells you the. Uh, the action, the possible actions that you can do, um, which is listed in here. There you go. Yep, so it's of course, um, as with many of the Eagle Griffin Deluxified, this is Ian O'Toole uh, illustration, um, very ornate, ornate and with the period, uh, much like you know, much like Lisboa before it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this to uh, to Twitch. Wim the Merc Master is in the house. Greetings from the Netherlands. CC, Pizzling, um, and Holly. Good morning from Melbourne. Oh, we got another Melbourneian. Hello. Yes, it's uh, day two lockdown, unfortunately. Hopefully, you'll, well, just, just stay home, play as, I don't know, as, as many 
board games as possible and then get ready. Hopefully by Thursday, we are not on lockdown anymore. Yes. Parent, should yeah. we do the... Let's first. pick first player. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of meta going on here. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Parent one. All my meta was thinking about the first... Uh, the first one. Once we had to do a second one, it just all went out the window. <laughs> Hi, board game alien. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so and how just... do we start around? We pick. So we've we've set up the first round here. You okay? I mean, we've um, by flipping out all of the the pieces that we get to draft from. Mm -hmm. And now we each get to choose our three cards for the round. Let's have a look. Uh, so this is basically, so um, the actions could be, just in, in, in the big summary, recruit, you know, the gold worker for that. You can go there to get five money immediately and um, grab the first, po um, the first player token. You can, you can take um, the what do you call this? Fabrics. Fabrics from the drawers. Um, and you, you, or you can take, you know, design, make a design as long as you have the required fa fabric. Um, or you can make, or just making dresses and then you either rent it out and get the victory points at the end and the area control part. Or you can sell it for immediate cash. Cashiola. Yes. That's the main thing. And you can also, there's a, a mechanics for thinning your deck as well. Which is, you know, a typical deck building, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Aldo is here, hello, and Tuan. Oh, I mean, Lowe's made it. Hello. Is um, 720p the highest resolution? I think I'd make it 720p for now, I think. Because it's live, and I don't want it to be delayed too much. I think that's the reason why. Um, bo -bo 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 -bo. All right. All right. Molly, I'm hello from three. Maine in USA. I've been so interested in this game. The Lux is just so lovely. I agree. You done, Tarrant? I, I haven't actually looked at what it is. So this is... We've got the Smith's a worker, do an extra fabric gathering, get a coin, and uh, get a free random fabric from the bag. Got it. And of course, even the uh, the thimble is nicer than the Monopoly thimble. You think? Okay. More chunky. <laughs> you, you think it thing. is, yeah. Ready? You go first. Yes. All right. So I'm going to uh, start by recruiting. Of course. My this is usually... I don't know what how your game is if you play this. It's... In our games, previous game as well, we always like, okay, recruit first and then the rest, maybe. Yeah. And I think I'm going to try to get a lot of gold people. So I'm going to take this guy and put him in my hand. That is a good thing. So you have to pay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So don't forget. So they are, if they are four, you have to pay five money. If they are three, like now, I only have to pay three. So I'm going to take this one. Put it straight away in my hand so I can use it this round. Play a card first. Thank you. Of course, uh, play this and put it in the discard pile and then recruit and I'll pay three. Okay. Okay. Nemo Australian internet, I understand. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of Australian internet, but also the other thing is the, um, the delay. So when you live stream, apparently there's delay of 20 seconds. So by reducing the quality, the delay is not so much. So you can see it like I say this, and then you can see it like 10 seconds later rather than 20 seconds later. That's, that's another one. Um, this game looks beautiful. So beautiful. Yes, Milo, it is indeed. It's all right. I'm going to share it again because I'm so impressed with this, this, the the thread and pinball. Oh, what is it called? The thread. The thread and lace. Lace, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm like, I can't just, I can't get enough of these <laughs> pieces. All right. All right. I'm gonna recruit again, um, which will cost me a coin. I will get that back in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, which one do I want? The one who can fire people more easily, or the one who gets more thread? Might 
Uh, because there's only two. Can I the one who fires people more readily? Mm -hmm. Because we're in two player here. I feel like I'm going to end up recruiting more than I did when we last played at four player. Mm -hmm. And I want a way to thin that. All right. I'm actually, I forgot to, that you need to gold to recruit, so I don't have any more good gold people, so I can't recruit, which you can recruit that last one then. That's true, I could. Yeah, so that's, that's a big mistake for me, I, I think. So I'm going to um, play another turn then. So I'll play, go ahead and play the card. Uh, well see what I can do. I want to go here. No, I want to go here. Uh, so play my silver person. Right, and I get a gold back for that. For what? Sorry. I paid the gold oh, yes. to recruit yes, and yes, then yes. I get that. So uh, you got to do the main the main action, which is optional. The bonus is also optional. So in this case, oh, thank you. No, that's my chair padding. <laughs> that's why it feels different. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go ahead and recruit this, uh, take this, so that means next round I'll be the first player and I get five gold, uh, five money. There's a five in there. Oh, thank you. Got, a, got that one for Paul. Yep. Uh, yeah. And then I can get one of these, Yes. I believe for free. Uh, no, oh, for two coins. For two coins, sorry, yeah, that's okay. Okay, in that case, uh, we'll take I need a, I feel like I need flexibility. So this, I don't know if you can see it. Do you want to bring it to the side maybe? So what it looks like and what can you do, whether you can get it. So this is what it looks like. It's not that. <laughs> you can either take the, the cloth or discard to get the bottom one. Yep. Uh, in this case, I haven't actually thought about what I'm going to do uh, yet. I'm going to take maybe this one. The first one I have to pay too, so I'm going to pay first before I forget. And then I will... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? At the moment, I don't think it's, it's that. Nothing is actually that good, so I'm going to just... I don't know. I'll just take that. Maybe hoping for uh, the best. Um, pay two, uh, and this actually put here. So we've got it comes with the a stand. So the ingredients essentially will keep secret from each other, technically. All right, I shall play this apprentice here. Um, and I should not say that I don't have my goal because now Taran knows, or maybe I have Taran. All right, and I will pay one to get this. Saliran, good morning, and Mardi, Andre. And I don't do. Uh, how do you end victory points? Did I miss that part? Um, there are, everything you tailor is worth victory points. Most of the points are added at the end of the game, but everything you tailor is worth victory points. There are points for holding majorities on each of these halls. There are points for paying for decorations with money. Uh, you can get points for fireworks. When you get a, um, when you get presence in all five of the halls, there are some all halls bonuses, and some of these cards offer victory points as well. Particularly the ones that come at the end of the game. This is a layered deck. Every card comes out, so if you play the game often, you'll you'll know what's coming, and you'll know you know the sorts of things are coming and you'll know what's important. Mm -hmm. So my turn, I'm gonna go there. So this is my uh, lowest skilled employee. employee. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and pay six coin. Give me four back. And I will put my disc here. So, oh actually, this is probably good as well. Ah, that's okay, I'll just leave it there for now. So this one here gives me an income of one every decorations that I have, including this one. Yes. Okay. That's okay, Milo. I increased yet low. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if I want to recruit and fill my deck up too much. So I'm going to play this one. Uh, with that, I'm going to 
uh, once again by Fabrics and Things. And I'm going to take the opportunity to take this oh, one. I forgot I've got two money here. You keep going. I'm going to take the opportunity to take this one and discard it. It's actually a good idea. Uh, for a lace and a thread. I should have done that. Let's but anyways. they're on. <laughs> uh, do we have a discard? Should have, would have. It's so many decisions. Yeah. Yes. Have a discard bin for these. Right. Pop that up there. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the second action here is I can dismiss a worker I've already used. So I'm going to dismiss this worker, get him out of my deck, and earn the dismissal value, which is four, four coins. Yeah. So this game goes for seven rounds, by the way. So this is the first round. Um, it is longish, but I don't think it is that long as well. All right, my go. They're very simple actions. So I think once we get into the swing, we'll whip through it pretty well. Yeah. So I got that, uh, that one. Unfortunately, again... You know, I'm um, not in the best, best position or, or to get this because I have to pay the maximum money because if there are three, I've had to pay two. But that's okay. I'm probably going to just stock up on that for now and hopefully I get to, you know, have something good. So the first one, I'm going to take this one. Ooh. Now it's like, this is like this, this comes to decision coma, everybody. Uh, what does Terran wants to do? I'm gonna take this one for the first one. Let's not think about it too much. And for the, as a bonus, I can take another one. So the first one cost me two, and the next one cost me only one. So with a total of three. All right. Okay, I shall play this gold one, and I'm going to tailor. So it's going to cost me two coins to get this one. Boo. I need a thread. And I need two pink fabric. So that is success. And then, and this is a, this one requires a gold. Um, gold this one requires tailor. a gold tailor to, yeah. to make. produce it. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do now? All right. to get the points. Um, I'm going to, I am going to place it on the board um, and looking at where I could place it I feel like uh, loading up on thread is the thing to do so I'm Marie hello hello I love the game there. I'm gonna jump in there pop my token on here oh sorry pop my token on there and I'm going to as the bonus for covering this up get a free thread card. Yep, you do, indeed. And looking at what's out, I think I'll get... So, uh, those two coins were discard for the thing of the worker during first action, I think. Did we miss anything? Hmm? No, I don't think so. Did we? I'm not sure. Okay, all right. Um, or oh, is that a question? All oh, right, I probably missed it, sorry. Parent um, taking that. Let's try to work out which one's going to work best with all that's out there. I'll grab this one. All right. So I've, I, I'm out of cards. So we are going to the next round. Yes. So this is gets this gets discarded. So before we before we do that, we get our income. That's correct. Sorry, jumping ahead. So here. my income is five because I don't have either of these. My income is five plus one, so that's six. Six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you are first player. Yep, put it back. This goes back. And this gets discarded. The last two at the end gets discarded. We need another thing for this. I just put it there. I don't think this will get refilled. Yeah, I don't yeah. think the others will either, actually. Yeah. We, only, Wait. we only just refilled them at the end of our four player game. So this doesn't get moved, it just gets revealed. Uh, maybe give me the other one, please. Yep. Thank you. Is this the right one? Yeah. And then we get, uh, we refill the um, the fabric in, what is the word again that we use in this game? Um, is there a specific? There is, but I forget what the word is. So we refill the fabric and, fabric and things. Resource. Resource. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Resource. Easy. Uh, Milo uh, has got a question. Is there a reminder somewhere on the cards of what the different employees can do? Yes, it is. 
Yep, we have a, uh, a helper card that uh, outlines them all. Mm. So these cards also get stacked from level 1, 2 and 3 or 4 and 5 and, and 6. six. <laughs> yep, okay, so what we've got now uh, for the employees, we've got a Silver who is pay 1 to get a free resource from the bag at random. There is a Bronze who can get a lace or thread for free. There is a Gold who will uh, give you one coin for every uh, for every blue dress and two for every green. And then there's another one who can dismiss people, uh, but for some ex uh, and gain some extra money. Yeah. So now I've got two cards on the left hand side, and so do you. So yep. we put back our discard pile into everything else. Uh, no, you have to pick up the two. Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. Two. Uh, that's what I meant. And then this knits, and then we can pick the last one from here. Yes. Okay. Which means that these three will be the next time around. Correct. And I'm the first player. Yes. Hmm. Interesting, Terence. Okay. Uh, shall I start? Yes. Okay, so I will go ahead and recruit. This is my card. And there's no bonus here, but I will recruit this for five. Hi, Ajahn. Welcome. Hello. It goes to my hand. All right, I'm gonna buy some thread. And that will cost me, let's see. You're gonna recruit Heron? No, I'll let you thin it out a bit. <laughs> what is that? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> All right, I think I'll spend three to get these two. Yes. I'll discard that one for a threat and a lace. Who did I recruit in the previous round? Oh, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, okay. me, me again? Um, yes, and I got to do that twice because of yes. this. Cool. Well, I would like to. I actually like to do um, to make a dress. So, go ahead and do that. And I will. Uh, this is not ideal, but whatever. <laughs> this one. So it's got blue, pink, and green, and this requires green and one of these. So mm -hmm. go and discard that. And it gives me 16 coins or two, um, I can sell it for 16 coins or two. Did you sell yours, Taran, or did you put it there? I placed it on the board. All right. I think um, well, I, I did it with the silver one. I kind of like want to get a bit of a boost at the start, so maybe I should sell it, but then again, and maybe not. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put it there so I get something extra, which is... Um, let's put it here. That gives me... So go ahead, flip it, go ahead and put it there. Put my token there. And then, um, because I'm covering the thread bonus, I go ahead and then pick this one. And I choose to discard it to get uh, lace and a thread. Her. Oh, and then I can spend one money to get lace or thread. I'm gonna go ahead and get I don't know lace. Her. Okay. Guardy guard, hello. So Terrence, have you are you ready for your dead joke? for uh, today? Um, no, I haven't. Uh, haven't Think about it? Anything. Distract her? No. <laughs> so last week you've got a homemade joke. I've got one. I usually look at the book or the calendar. So I'm, I'm cheating. <laughs> I don't have my own good, bad, dead joke. But, um, you know, uh, we might share it later. And um, maybe not. Maybe in the secret ending, or maybe there is no secret ending. Terence is confused. 
Yes, confused and thinking. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? All right, I will. Terrence confused. Yeah. Come on, Terrence. You can do it. I'll play this one. I'm going to pay a coin. Which one would you like? To tailor. Oh yeah, yes. You, you need to that one first, and then the bonus. So that's going to cost me both of these and a lace. You spend two. Yep. Yes. I'll flip that over, and I'll head up into here. And get you one coin. Is it a good bonus for now? No, I'm going to go down to here, and uh, pick one of these again. So I think it's handy to um, bulk up on on things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I can spend a coin and get a lace or a thread. Um, I'll get a lace. Okay. My go. I will go here. So this is my gold uh, tailor. My topmost tailor, which I'm going to go and do recruiting. Excuse me. I will go and recruit this one my, into my hand. And I get the bonus. And because I have one green uh, dress, Yep. I have two coins. Two coins. Yeah, I get two coins. Christopher Sasaki here. Hello. Um, oh, there you go. The Lotta has got a, a joke. Why is Peter Pan always flight? <laughs> I just close, just hide the answer from Karen. Why is Peter Pan, Peter Pan always flying? Because the weather is windy. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> that is actually the word there, Wendy. Uh, because he never lands. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Love it. I love it. I always love that jokes. Thank you so much. Good evening from Germany. Alex Kazik. Hello. Okay, I'm going to recruit um, at a cost of one coin the second dismissing person. Take it in your head. Yep. Like this missing person. So this is. And I get a coin. Karen's gonna just thin the deck. I think that's the strategy. Okay. These employees bonuses are like from one to another quite similar. They have slightly modifications, getting stronger um, each round. Stronger and targeting uh, points over money. So it does very much stage the game. That is correct. All right. Um, what do I want, Terrence? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money. Okay. I think. I think I will play this. The lowest level, level three employee, and I'll choose to pick this one for free because they are only one. Put it there. And the bonus is to money. Your turn. Okay. Mm. I play this one. I'm going. Chris, a good answer. Mm. Well done. Hello, Elliot. Elliot's here. Well, Terrence are thinking about. Play this oh, one. You know? I okay. use it to take first player, mm. so I get five coins mm -hmm. for that. And then I'm going to dismiss this one. So I get. 5 plus 7 for dismissing this is 12. Very good. That's actually a good card. Yeah. Hi, Anthony. And this is so much money now. I know, that's so cool. Buying some things. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go there. So, this is my silver employee. I will. Ooh. This is interesting. Okay. I will. Go and spend nine. Uh, despite my better judgment, to put it here. Yep. And I can pay one money to get a random random ingredient from the bag. Yes. And Paul uh, love rococo couldn't justify the cost of the deluxe um, as it doesn't get played much. That's fair. Hopefully. It's one well, one lucky winner at the end of this will get a copy of 
the deluxe edition, so thanks to uh, Eagle Griffin Games. Yes. Okay, I'm out of cards. I'm also out of cards. So All let's right. get income. Income, uh, mine is still just five. Mine is only seven, it's still not much. Got but you got heaps of money. That's so much money, I just um, No. And then we discard this. Yes. We discard the then. first two always. And slide down the rest. And did I give you... Yeah, I gave you the, the bag. Let yep. me that. So we are on to the third round. And there's only seven rounds all up. Just filling stages. Um, I think Taryn's my favorite action is to discard and fire his employees to get money. I did do that a lot last time, but it does balance out because there is a card at the end where if you have a, a big deck, uh, you can get a lot of victory points out of that. So, yeah. all right, you will take the first player. Yep. And uh, stomp it down any harder. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got three cards. So yep. we don't have we can't choose because we have to use this first before recycling. And Heron's the first player. Where would you like to go? All right, so our employees this time, we've got every two decorations gets your point. Uh, we've got do an extra tailor action and uh, reduce the cost by one pink or one blue. Uh, but it can't be the gold one. It can't be the master. Uh, correct. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say that there, but that is correct. There is uh, gain money based on how many cards are in your deck. Ooh. Obviously, that's no use to me. And there's one coin per uh, decoration. So let's go straight out. I want this one. It's a good of one. Of course. <laughs> I'll pay five. All that. right. Uh, I will play this one, the gold one. I pay. I also want to recruit. Uh, pay three. Two, three. I actually want this one. Um, actually, oh, I can have that one. Yeah, I'll have this one first. See what happens. Okay. Now, looking out there, I finally see some. Oh, actually, I don't. I get one more coin because this is an extra de 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 decoration. So one yep. here, two here. I'm gonna give myself another coin. I finally see some red cloth out there. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be inefficient a little bit. That's okay, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to uh, spend two coins to get hey John. this red and green. And then I get to do a tailor action. And, and I don't... Uh, the way I'm going to do this, it doesn't give me the benefit of reducing the cost, but that's okay. I'm going to spend a coin to take this one, overpay it, pay a thread, and then pop this one out onto the board. Mm -hmm. uh, where is a good place to put it? I don't know. Well, in the meantime, I will um, remind everybody of the password. So. This is the password, and uh, as usual, we do live playthrough on the weekend, similar time, and jump to mipleuniversity.com slash giveaway, and the password is Taylor. Taylor. Yay. So I like this, the look of this new camera, because it looks nice and crisp. Your lips are red, Taryn. <laughs> Your lips are gone now. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so we'll <laughs> draw at the end. How can I kiss you now that your lips are gone? Hmm? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that? Okay, back to the game. Face your turn. Oh, gotten serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Started. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> That's how we're playing it, isn't it? Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> 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 we just uh, we tried to hide this from each other. <laughs> Well, happy Valentine's Day to you as well, sir. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> I want to... I want to do this, so I play this. 
Um, and I will grab this one for how much is that? One coin. And then the uh, the other action is to grab another one, but because there's only one in the drawer, it is for free. Turn. Okay, I shall play this one uh, to make this. Ooh, well so done. It's going to cost me a thread and a orange. That is so good. So this is a now high point scoring one. It needs a gold, and I shall place it. Try to place here in the central hall. Boo. Uh, and that's it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go there then. So I'll play the silver one. Pay three gold to get this one to make dress. Oops. Uh, play the costs, which is blue and green. Um, I've got two blues and one green, but I don't get a chance. Mm. Uh, change. So. <laughs> Pay a lace. I will put it there. Do I want to sell it? Maybe not. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Hmm. It's interesting. It's like everything else is kind of foolish. Foolish, not foolish. And the one that I want. I know what you are. Uh, I know what you're doing there, Tarrant. Let's go there. And the bonus is. A thread. Thank you. And I can get the bonus here, which is buying one more. And I'll go ahead and buy this one for two. Okay. Parent. Yep. Now I shouldn't probably be putting these in a, a discard pile because I need to know which ones will play this round when I fire people. That's actually true, yeah. So I'm going to play this one uh, is action. I'm going to spend 12 to place here now that I've got a good number of dresses. I can make some income off that. Very good. Um, and I shall, well actually I'm not going to, maybe I won't do that because I'm not going to, yeah I'll make up the cost as the game goes Just on. Just do it. Do it's that. fine. Okay, and then I'm going to fire one of my starting gold people. So I can't put it there. I can't put both of my discs there because it's only maximum of one. Fire one of my starting gold people for ten. Gold people. Wow. Okay. So good. Okay, my go. I'll play that. And I will recruit this one to my hand. Uh, that cost me one. One. Which is my last money. And I get money based on how many decorations I have, which is currently only two. You have so much fabric and... Not much money. Not much money. I have a lot of money and no and fabric. And you out of cards? I have a Kanban strategy for fabric. And, uh, <laughs> you out of card? I'm out of cards. Okay, so I'll play my last one. And I will get this one for five money. That's uh, bronze. Um, What do you mean bronze? Oh, yeah. Forgot, I can't take that. Oh, boo. That's okay, I can get something else. What can I do with bronze? I can probably fire people. I don't want to fire its own. This, I can't make fabric. Maybe I should just like get more of these. What are the options now? I can either get fabric or make dress or fire people. Uh, I can't yeah. get that. Or because recruit. you can't afford a decoration, all yeah. you can do is um, get fabric or fire someone. Yeah, I'll just get fabric then in that case. I've got a lot of fabric here. So, uh, we're... <laughs> what am I going to do here? People. Okay, I'll get fabric. Just give me some um, flexibility, I guess. I don't know how you could need more flexibility, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So I'll take, actually, yeah, I'll take this. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's got two laces. I pay one. Um, I'll actually discard it um, to get the laces. Yay. Hello, Rob. Rob's here. And Matt. Lorenzo. Um, and then 
then I get the bonus, which is I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means I get 10 money. Wow, you built up the, st the staff quickly. Yeah, it's going to be hard for me next time. All right, that's it. Okay. Uh, right, income. Income. So I now get a little bit more. I get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as well. Uh, you get, Sorry. yeah, you get one extra for every disc you've got on the board. Yep, nine as well. Yep. All right. Okay. So I remain first player. Oh, discard that. This is born. Discard, move. And we're on to, what, the fourth round now, is it? Yes. Please give me one of the bags. I keep giving you back the bag. I should probably just keep it. Yeah, given you've got the one who draws one randomly as well. Yeah. What's everyone's been playing this weekend, by the way? Anything exciting that we should look at? I know that um, one of our regulars, uh, this is Star Trek, recommends us Dune Imperium. We are yet to play that, but I heard good things about it. It's on the shelf, ready to go. Yeah. And I heard Sleeping Gods also arriving slowly, so we've got half to play for that one as well. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Hello from Twitch. Hello, Oni. Oni new. Oni new ball. Oni new ball. Yes. All right. Now he's choosing what we're gonna play. So what are the bonuses, Tarrant? So we've got every three dresses gets your point. Build an extra decoration at a discount of five. Uh, we've got the gentleman's clothes give you bonuses. So pink is two money and orange is one. Uh, Little East, what's it called? Point. And then this one is you can spend four money for one point as many times as you want. So at the end of the game, money is converted to points at a uh, 10 to 1 ratio. But there are cards that make it 4 to 1 or 3 to 1 with an action. So I got a lot of my points from last time we played. Hmm. Indeed, Tara. Oh, I want to do what do you want to do? Da, 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 da. We are picking three cards. What is this? Tara? So we've got Kevin, haven't played anything organizing and making a tuck box for Abomination. Ooh. Tuck boxes. Is that like 3D printed or is that like paper this is like I've got this much card and then I'm like oh my gosh what am I going to do right yes okay hmm Darren is ready boo uh Am I going to do this? Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, Terence, the first player. Okay, recruit. Folding cardstock paper, nice. I remember doing that for I think food chain yeah, magnate and New, New York, York slice. slice. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> the triangle slice and the pizza slices. Yes, the box was a mess until we did that. <laughs> What did you recruit? Tara? I recruited the cheap decorations. Oh! That is not good, everybody. Uh, okay, I'm gonna recruit as well. I'm gonna have to recruit with this guy. Uh, I really like that de cheap decoration person, which is now gone, and that's pretty sad. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that. Okay. Tara. So Aldo played Quest for El Dorado, Nizia. I heard good things about it, we still haven't played it yet. I heard there's an expansion or is it a reprint or something like that? Maybe expansion. Um, that is on our play to playlist. Um, quick and smooth, yeah. Nizia's game usually tend to be quick and smooth and there are some hidden strategies that you don't realize until you play it. Um, that's our experience anyway. All right. okay. I'll play two to get this one, and I'll pay one to get this one. Okay. 
I will make a dress so with my gold person I will make I am going to make this dress cost of zero because it's a gold person and mm -hmm. I discard four instead of two so I've got four I can't get any discount and a lace and I will go ahead and place this is the gold one so I can place it in the gold area and I will place it in here and that gives me a free ingredient uh, resources sorry that's that's the thing um, and I will go ahead and choose let's get this one no let's get this one all right all right, I'll do this. I'm going to also make a... So this is silver? Yep. So I'm going to make a dress at a cost of... Oh, one. I've, I've got the bonus here, which is... I don't, know, I don't have blue. I've got green, so I've got too many for this one. Tiny Epic Dinosaurs a couple of days ago. Woohoo! Tiny Epic Dinosaurs is one of our favorite of the Tiny Epic games. All right, I'll pop that up there. Uh, that gives me the all halls bonus <laughs> and it gave me a two money rebate and then my what's a two money rebate um, oh, on there from there okay yeah and then I get to uh, build a decoration as well at a five discount and I'm going to spend 17 Wow to do the triple fireworks. Wow. That is, that is amazing. All right. All right. I'm going to go there and build a decoration. I'm just, you know, I just like one, <laughs> one step too short to do that. So I'm going to do that. Build the decoration. Oh, actually, you know what? How much money do you have? 14. Yeah, okay, no. I'm gonna do that and take this and get five money. Mm -hmm. And then one point per three dresses. Mm -hmm. I only have three dresses, so one point for me, please. Winning! <laughs> no, too early. <laughs> too early. Wayan, hello, Wayan. So we just finished shoveling snow ahead. Ahead is uh, heavy snow in Canada. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is like, this is meant to be summer east, but it's still cold. <laughs> we have basically missed summer here. Yeah. Um, we've had, we How haven't had miss it. We, summer? We missed summer. We had like one day over 35 by the middle of February. Yeah. But, uh, that's slightly sad. Hey, Mary. Mary. Mama bear. Ooh, lovely. Chocolate, chocolate bar. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, who raided me? Ray! Hey. Welcome everybody, Tom, Ray, Tom, Ray. Okay, admit it, who raided me? Please let me know who raided. I have to go. <laughs> and so I, want, I can thank you. So I got raided by, ah, uh, Luza Palooza, I think. Yes, I get this error there. Luza Palooza raiders, thank you so much. Yay, we are testing a new camera here. How, how do we look? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for writing. If you haven't, if you don't know us, we are streaming this every weekend. Um, usually, this kind of time Thanks hours. So. Yes, uh, Rococo Deluxe. Yes, uh, we are playing Rococo Deluxe, and we've got giveaway at the end of this giveaway. Uh, at the end of this live playthrough. Yeah. So you don't have to subscribe to us. Although subscribing to us is obviously will will be thank you for it. But um, just fill out the form, and we'll draw it at the end of this playthrough so mableuniversity.com slash giveaway uh, password is Taylor and we've got a Rococo Deluxe giveaway thanks to Eagle Griffin Games and thanks for Luza Palooza one of our favorite Twitch streamers always I think they um, they are twitching, twitching twitching every day if almost almost every day I think I might be wrong all right Karen all right, I'm going to spend. Okay, going to bed. Bye. I'm going to spend two coins and get a thread out of that because I'm camera looks awesome. Thanks, William. Thread bear at the moment, mm -hmm. and then I can dismiss one of these. 
Um, the whole gameplay looks nice and streamlined. Yes, we're up to, um, up to round number four now. So Taran is going to play a card. Dismiss this one. To dismiss. Four. Okay. All right. So am I I'm out of cards. All right. I'm playing this um, level three employee. And I will find a decoration over there with 16. That's times three. I forgot last game and I forgot again this time. That's quite sad. Can you please put me there? Thank you. Pay 16. Uh, pay 12. Hmm? Do the cheap one. Yeah, but you can put your thing there, no? Hmm? And yeah, okay, pay 12, thanks. Yeah, they're all times two. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll do the times three. Oh yeah, there's a majority thing, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I forgot about the majority. Okay. Yes, if you want to make it 16. That's right, just in case. Yep. <laughs> So uh, how much is that I need to pay extra? Four. Yes, you did it right. I saw you put a five down and get a one. Okay. Thanks. That's mm -hmm. it? No, you got to get a one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm confused now. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we both done? I'd really like to play this game once. Yes, try it. That just says, try it, try it, try it. Pretty new deluxe. So we are done for yeah, this right. round. Okay, income. Uh, I've got 10. It's a question from Roku's uh, Makualas. Is it just a new look or did they also change some rules? As far as I know, I think it is the same rules. I checked with uh, another friend of ours who like really crazy about this game and play a lot of the previous edition. Yeah. The same rules. Uh, there's new expansion all in the one box of Deluxe, which is going to be included in this giveaway, yes. which is the jewelry box. Uh, we include one expansion here, which is just additional fabric and Yep, there are also some um, yep. some country costumes as well. Yep, let's put it away, it's messy. Okay. <laughs> uh, get your income? Yes. Five plus... Eleven. I've got that one as well now. Yep, so you get eleven. Thank you. I trust you, Tara. <laughs> and then the first player goes to me. Mm -hmm. And then this card, this as usual, we are up to round number. I don't know. Quick. Um, Probably like five or something five. like that. Round number five. Greetings from Venezuela. Hello, Venezuela. I can see one of your life always busy, but I enjoy your videos. Keep up. Good work. Thank you so much. It really means a lot if people are chatting with us or are supporting us because, you know, we are um, still relatively small. We have Harrow Dice Tower as well, but um, Ask Me University is still relatively small. So um, this is my passion project from the beginning. Now I'm doing it professionally. Yes. And loving it. And I love the community as well. Parent, that's a test. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> so I am first. Yes. But I need to check choose card first. So that's so money got, generating again. Yep, not as much money, but it's gold. We've got extra tailoring and uh, a discount of two green if you are making a green. Is it just if you're making a green? If you tailor a garment that requires green, you can get a discount of two green. We've got one coin per dress, and we've got um, points for dresses, I think. Discard, no, sorry, this is discard any number of resource tiles and gain points based on the tiles. Very good, Tara. Hmm. You got your three cards? I have. That was I'm, quick. I only had three. Oh. There's a maximum minimum of four, but you you're okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to break the game. I'm just trying to... <laughs> you're trying to be Andrew. No, we've got a friend that we usually play. Um, and he usually wins. So if we you do something like that, something different, something aggressive, are you doing the Andrew? <laughs> If you if your question during the rules during the rules explanation, if your question is um, strategy, essentially a question of can I do this? Insert strategy that clearly breaks the rules. <laughs> uh, not sorry, not breaks the rules, breaks the game. Then That's you just say no. The rule book has planned for your attempt <laughs> to break the game. He and just picks it up straight away. 
It's you don't okay. even need to play test it. You can just no. show, show him the game and he'll he'll find all the spots it's broken. That is correct. <laughs> what am I gonna do, Tarrant? My, my my card is really it's it's not good. It's not like you know, I just been getting shitty cards. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Because you keep getting the new cards, the, the good cards. I swear. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. So the gold one. I've got gold standard. You're first now. I am indeed. You couldn't take that thimble away fast enough. I oh, know, I should have done that. <laughs> this is probably a good thing for you. Cause you can tell them more with minus two less. Right? Yeah, I'll just take that and see what happens. Oh. You know what? Um, let me just see. I haven't. Nothing's done. No damage is done. All right. All right. Take that one. Um, take that. Mm -hmm. Pay five. Okay. And then I get the bonus, which is one money per. Decoration, Decoration which is three. One, two, three. Yes, thank you. Only three. Measly three. Hi, Alex <coughs> Rivero from Mexico. 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 Hello. Hello. Welcome. If you're new or to the channel or not. If you don't, if you're new, please subscribe. And we really appreciate it. You don't have to. Uh, this is also optional, but we always appreciate because, you know, um, hopefully we can trade our free service with your subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sometimes sponsorship, but this one's we'd love to do it. Um, it's because we like to do it. Yes. Eagle Griffin is kind enough to just provide the copy. Yes. All right. I have uh, recruited uh, this gold mm. fellow who yep. gives me extra money per dress. Very good. I will play this fella. Uh, another gold to recruit this full one. No bonus there. Karen. Okay. I shall play this. I'll spend a thread and an orange to make this one. Karen always gets the good one. Needs a gold. Uh, then I can put it. Let's see. Where am I going to? Now I need to start thinking about majorities. Mm. I'm gonna go in there. Karen's got a really good engine because he's really got. It's got like eight cards or something all up, or six or something ridiculous like that. I've got seven at the moment, but I've got two that fire, so I can mm -hmm. keep it at six. Um, and then I've got, uh, I get one coin for each dress that I've got out there, which is six. Marie said, let me channel some positive Team Stella energy over the better card for Stella. Thank you so much, Marie. Marie is from <laughs> one of the Hot Banana games, the um, one of the most anticipated game um, that is coming out later this year, I believe, October, called Steam Up Fe Feast of Dim Sum. That is very, very exciting. Um, oh, wow, there's um, Paul Grogan here, popping in to say hi, but busy playing games. I know that. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you for popping by. Gaming mm -hmm. Rules is here. Um, I actually, I watched Gaming Rules how to play video for this one. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Paul, for helping me. Um, Paul, I've got one question. <laughs> What is this means? <laughs> we can't find it. I think it means each dress can only count towards bomb decoration. Mm. That's how I interpret it. So the black one, um, it's in a part of a rule book, but I remember Paul Grogan explained that. So that's two per set of... Um, two per different dress or different garment color. Mm -hmm. But each, if you've got four garments of different mm -hmm. colors and you have all three statues, then you would only score each yes. one. Yes. Yes. Um, was that my turn? Yes. Um, my turn. I had a plan. I will go and do this one. So I'm going to do a thing. Sorry, making a dress with my silver employee. And I'll take this one because it's free. Just pay two for the costs uh, at the bottom here. 
and I would like to put it here uh, this one at um, let's put it here get a lace nice yep mm -hmm. okay uh, the Johnny is on the table but wait isn't Stella the one choosing the first card every turn how can she not the best card no <laughs> it was Taryn Taryn's been choosing the first cards oh I actually no like there are times where I feel like I choose good card and the rest is not like yours is more mine's like all of this the place I think I feel like yours is more specific to certain strategy hmm. Casey um are you doing your second action which is that one right what was your first action doing that coloring something there yep what what do you mean by second action so you get to do your normal action and then do a tailoring action with cheaper oh that's right so it's not the actual itself a tailoring okay okay got it so let me just refer so that's pretend that's the second one because I have all the resources yep. so the second one is that one and the first one I will do oh this is good stuff which one's this parent one Mm. Uh, it's a silver one, so I can't get this one because it's gold. I can get that one. Wow, look at this. Insane. <sighs> Maybe this is a good one to do. I really want that one, but I can't afford it. Let's do that one. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm indec indecisive now. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, damn it! This is like one of those that I don't know. Okay, you tell the joke while I think about it. <laughs> I just like you tell the joke. Yes, I'm gonna go that. Yeah, I'm gonna um, continue with my choice. Uh, they this should. Here. They should make an oh, expansion sorry. of this game where there's like, in addition to uh, purple. Oh, sorry, in addition to blue dresses, they have a colour that is blue dresses with purple triangles on it. And they can call it Rococo's Modern Life. <laughs> sorry, everyone. It's very, very niche. Which, <laughs> do you mind explaining it? Um, that describes Rocco's shirt from Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, okay. The cartoon from... 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I just laugh because this is so, so obscure. <laughs> Hopefully someone gets it. <laughs> See, somebody, somebody loves it. <laughs> Very good. Um, I, by the way, I, I got that one. So mm -hmm. I paid five. I spent the um, resource, which is one purple. I uh, want um, orange yeah. and lace and put it there. And then I put my disc there because now I have it in all. Yep. Cool. Cool. And I just checked because I thought all the orange ones were uh, master actually. No, but they're not, not all. Wasn't. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do this one. I'm going to end up spending a total of six here. So my first action is to spend two to buy this. And then my second one is to spend four to buy this one. Uh, with these and a no, it doesn't need lace. Okay, just with these, and then I will put this out into. Mm. Casey got it! Yay! Somewhere. So someone else watching that cartoon as well. Well done, Taryn. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've completely run out of non-master space. Oh no, there's one more non-master space that doesn't have a bonus, but I've got a pretty good spot on the majority there. So I'll go down here. I think. Okay. Was there a tiebreaker on placement? No, there wasn't. Once you got mm -hmm. past these, it was no tie. Okay, yep. Done. You done? Yes. Well, where are my dresses? So this one, this one, that one, that one. Okay. I think. I want to go ahead and make another dress. So I got a few dilemmas here. 
All right, I'm going to do that. I will make this dress for a thread, uh, one money, and resource, which is my office pen with one grid, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Flip it. And I'd like to put this one, all of them has, be, has got bonuses, like all of those. Oh, that one is okay. But only two. Yeah, that's the only remaining non-master one with a bonus on it. Mm. But two is actually not so good. Like it's just two point, which is not so good. So for the uh, fireworks for bonus. For the fireworks bonus, so. yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here. Let's see what happened. And it doesn't give me a bonus no or bonus. anything. No bonus. So the second one is to get this one for one money. Okay. The, I mean the bonus one. Okay. Are you firing people again? Or oh, maybe not. That's I will. The main one. But first, I'm going to spend twenty to go here. Oh no! Start and one locking down statues. One step. And then I'm going to dismiss. Slower. Given I can see that almost everything is going to need a master guy to place, I'm going to uh, dismiss this non-master guy, uh, which gives me a total of twelve. Oops! I dropped a coin. Hmm. That's my go now. So my last action is the gold one. It's probably going to be wasted to take that. Give me five. Uh, retain my first player for next round. Okay. And I get the bonus. I have a few cards here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you're well over 11 now. And 11, yeah. I should probably start discarding, to be honest. Um, I get seven. Seven. seven, seven money. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, Is income. In? So, how much you get? So, I get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That doesn't count as decoration, by the way. You Correct. Know I mean? okay. yep. So, mine is five plus six. Six, six uh, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Thank you. How much did you get, sorry? Twelve. Thank you. Fourteen for me. Uh, how do you get the firework? Firework. Yes, we haven't explained much about firework. Yep. So fireworks, you can um, you can build them the same way as any of the um, decoration type things. At the end of the game, uh, you will. For my case, it's triple because I got this one. But for these ones, it'll be you, you double score the points for one of your dresses in the main hall. <laughs> almost, almost not past the test. Let me help you. We built a lot of dresses last time. I know. And by built, I mean tailored. Mm -hmm. What is employee bonuses? So we're starting to get into some of the uh, end game scoring ones hmm. now. It's just the last, this is the sixth round. So after <coughs> this, we only have one more round. Yep. So bonuses here, every two decorations worth a point, every two dresses worth a point, uh, when you play it as an action. And then we've got uh, a combination of a uh, pink or orange, which is the gentleman's frock coat and a uh, blue or green, which is the lady's dress, worth two points. Uh, so every one of those you have will score those. And then we've got give up thread and lace pairs to get three points. All right, so I get my deck back. I'm not playing this, this, this very well. I know that I'm really hurting. <sighs> okay. Unfortunately, Karen, you ready? Yes. Uh, this is very painful, everybody. So, I will play this. Take that. Give me five. 
You surprised? Yes, that's quite early. Yeah. And then get the bonus, pay one to get a resource. Random from the bag. Oh yeah, that's right. I've forgotten. Thank you. Uh, James Raid, hi, hello. Okay. Okay. I think I can, I'm going to pay five to get this one. I think I can get some good points out of that. And then I get a coin. Oh, <laughs> I want to cry right, I'm crying right now inside because my turn was, it's not as, yeah, I can't really say much, but the next one is, I want to play this, how do I fire people, oh, it doesn't really matter at the moment at this stage. If you want to uh, fire that worker, then you only get you the bonus. do that as it's action and I know. you get the bonus. So I'm going to play this there, I'm going to put and, s and waste, waste, 25, my, my strategy is through it now, 25 um, to get here, well I can go, at the go there but you know pay 30 but that's okay, alright, and then get two money back. So much fun to join you oh thank you we got a subscriber thank you very much welcome to the welcome. channel oh my gosh what's going on here uh, so neon dice boy says so much fun to join you um and i want i want to say hello and how glad um and how glad you are kind looking good funny extraordinary smoothie best looking guys in the board game scene thank you too nice and i got a big Peach. <laughs> I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Thanks for always providing great videos. You are much needed. Cheers. And we got a super chat of 10 US dollars. Yay. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is our um, Valentine's Day for us. We can now go out and no, we can't go no, out. We, can't. we can get Uber Eats and then deliver, get delivered something. So lunch is on you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. To one say how many times have you to play this game have you tried jewelry box extension um i played this one this is the third time i believe yeah this is my second time mm -hmm. it's our the first time really good. it's our first time as a two player yeah and we have not used we have not played with the jewelry box expansion yet so i wish to pr play that one day and um one thing i was actually was gonna say I'll, i keep forgetting this is that we've done poll now like once every two three days we got a poll on our youtube channel it's a quick poll where you can just uh, i'll be asking usually board game related um so if you you know um i just like to collect that and just see you know like do you usually win and one of the options i put um those, so the options is me my partner or that one person and the last but Last option is flip the table. No one wins. So it's like that kind of fall. Um, so if you see, just like hit the answer if you like. It's really quick. But you know, if you don't, that's okay too. And write comments if you if you like. Taren. All right. So uh, this lady main action is going to be to buy that yep. fabric, and, and then she's going to fire herself for seven. You can fire it yourself, herself, right? Yeah. Okay, that's really good. So that's what I think about it. Um, that's made me think about it. If how many, when I think about who usually plays, this one on the poll, who usually plays? It depends. Um, some people commented, it depends on the game. Certain games seems to be certain per certain person wins. Like this game, I would never be able to win, yeah. although I enjoy it. But Panamax and other games involving shipping, uh, you seem to. It's really, it's really not doesn't make sense why what's got to do with shipping it's probably eco economic game i don't know so this is my last action unfortunately and i have not think this through again as usual <laughs> and i'd like to Ooh, what want to do i think i want to make dress probably what do you think I should do, Taryn? <laughs> oh dear, let's take this one. 
I know I'm not winning, so I'm not going to think too hard about it. So, two. Mm -hmm. And I will put it here. Yeah, whatever. Get one coin. Okay. Uh, this one I'll spend two Oops. to make. Oh, hang on. Oh, I didn't think. Hang on. No, did I think that through? Yeah. Accidentally, I thought it through. Yep. Oh. So I'll do that one, which just costs the two pink. Mm -hmm. um, so, really, I've only played the old fashion and only once. Uh, Neon Dice Boy, do you think Rococo has a really unique theme and much replayability? What do you think, Taryn? I'll let Taryn answer that first. Thank you for asking us the question. Um, I believe that I'm going to place there. You believe you're going to place there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then I'll finish my turn and then I'll uh, give a answer. A thought. Okay, my thought is my other yes, yes, it does because last game for example we thought certain person is going to win it's doing well but then Taron came from behind and then caught up caught up um kind of like the last round with different strategy so i know but that then i got passed again yeah you got passed again but still i thought you're going to be last but you're actually second no you're first i wasn't first i okay, think well. i was i think i i think i was second very narrowly second yeah yeah so would you like to answer? Um, and my action was to use my five discount to go here. Okay, very good. Yeah, I think there's, I think it's got a very, I think it does have a unique theme. Um, it's, I mean, in many ways, it, this part, in many ways, the theme part of it is, um, you know, you could be building houses on a street. You could, there's lots of ways you could, do it but I think what they brought here with the theme and made it look very pretty is very nice yeah um, and I think it does strike me as replayable um, I mean it depends what you're looking for in replayability right these cards my friend says so as well I have a friend that's plays like Rohoko for ages okay yes yeah, I mean these cards are the same every time so you always know what's going to happen these cards yep but fundamentally you don't quite know what order so you can't fully prepare round to round like you don't know in advance which round you want to be first pardon me first player in except probably the last round um, but when it comes down to it it's it's quick playing and it's um, it's all about the the different majorities and the different area controls and I think because it's simple in that way it does stack up to repeated plays there you go hopefully that Helps your answer. We've got 78 and 3 so far, by the way, for Rococo Deluxe. So, uh, your turn. Well, I, I'm out of cards, so it's your turn again. Let's see. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so all I've got left is a bronze, and so for the bronze, I will spend my one remaining coin to get the blue fabric. Well done, Tara. All right. So, done. Income. I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And you've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Thank you. So, you're going into this last round much wealthier than I. Not, oh, sorry. Not that much. Let's, res yeah. let's reset all of this. Not that much. It's okay. So we've got we've got the one who lets you spend three coins for a point as many times as you want. There's three points per pair of um, dresses on master spaces. This one is points based on how many cards you've got in your deck. Bad for me. And this one is. Uh, cheaper decorations again. Okay. And I'm the first player. And we need to refill this. Yes. I'll I'll refill it. I'll pick my cards. And you pick yours? 
I only have three. Oh. Pfft. I've maintained a deck of six going through. That is so. really good. It's so fine, smooth, well oiled engine. Um, so there you go. The journey on the table says with the jewelry box expansion, you get the change some of the employee cards. So there is a higher replayability with it. Ah, oh, good to know. I've got it. I haven't actually looked into it so much, but thank you for that. Do you see some difference between game mates made by European and US designer? We discuss in our gaming group that you can find some difference, maybe in the mechanics. Well, I think it depends on the um, the type of games, more like made by who. I mean, if we've seen European designers designing uh, American theme, uh, Merit Trash um, game. Um, and I found out recently that Merit Trash is not a derogative term. It's actually a good term. But I still like to say American theme game or a European style ga uh, theme game. Yeah, I mean, I think the, you know, the, the classic Euro style is... Um, it's building and never destructing, uh, never destructive. Um, I mean, it can, it can be, can have elements of randomness. I think that's what, you know, sometimes you, you hear that it's all about, it's fully mathematical and, and no randomness. I don't think that's necessarily true, but it's always largely characterized by building, um, yeah. Building things up. Yeah, that's true. So, um, Zai saying hello. Hello. So, I'll ask you a question. If you are to get this, yep. how many points do you get? Uh, right now, I would get three points. Three. Okay. I mean, you can you can hate draft me and then pick that one and I won't get it. To deprive you of 11. Correct. Yes, I could do that. So, um, in that case, my first turn is to take that one and pay five and because I have more than 11 I get seven money okay that's it that's my first hand okay da, 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 da. this is last round everybody hi Coralu Coralu made it hello um and then let me quickly have a look. Um, I also agree with the massive price if you see the quality. I missed that, sorry. Uh, Thai, yeah, this is last round, Thai. Almost there. So Tuan, okay, we've asked, uh, so we've replied to Tuan. Arali del Kamen Pena Prasa, hello. What has more weight in the game, the theme or the mechanic? That's okay. That's um. Thank you for asking. I think mechan uh, mechanics um is more weight rather than the theme. The theme, the theme is you know, a lot of European. The theme is secondary than the mechanics. Although I think the theme of this one is, I think good. I think it's one of the more immersive rather than some of others because you know you can rent it out you can sell it you can hire a musician and then get points and things like that Terence are counting so something right now and then he's <laughs> like counting am I right honey happy Valentine's Day <laughs> all right I'm gonna make this inexpensive dress mm -hmm. for two blue fabrics with a gold worker where is my I thought I got a card that I yeah never mind um, I could get money by going there, or I can win a majority by going somewhere else. That's an interesting prospect. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Heron. Where's the best majority for me to win? Mm. Ooh, I could lose. Actually, <laughs> that would be a shame to lose that majority. Yep. Mm, I might have to defend this one, I think. Hmm. So I'll go there, and then I get one coin per, sorry, one coin per dress, which mm -hmm. I believe is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I go here. Are you, you done? Yes. Okay. The gold one. I want to do this one. So that cost me one orange resource and a thread. 
um, I would place it this is interesting place it here okay it's probably not wise but we'll see okay I shall Ooh. yeah that'll work all right I shall spend three to recruit this one mm -hmm. what's it do that's the um, extra decoration at a 10 discount. Oh, I missed that. Did you mention that? Mm. I missed it. I will... I will play this. To pay 20, uh, 18. Let me get that. To place it there. And gives me 11 points, please. End of the game. Oh, in the game. Okay, got it. The dark blue one is the end of the game. Got it. Okay. Okay. How much money do I have? 19. Effectively 29. I didn't really need that discount. Mm hmm. You got two more cards? Yes. All right. Um, okay, I shall. Very good turn. I shall play this one to take first How many player. people are celebrating here, celebrating Luna? Yeah. Hey, I gave my this is a nephew lucky red envelope. I'm just like they they obviously stay in Bali, so I told my sister to put some in the envelope, and they are happy from from Auntie Stella and Uncle Tarrant. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, I uh, took first player and then I dismissed this guy. Yeah. So Kevin celebrating, hello! Uh, I realized that Unfair is a game mate better designer from Australia. It's one of the best game ever. <laughs> it is mate in Australia. Hooray! <laughs> There's also Funfair. Yes. Which is um, the game also made by the same company and I think designer, but it's a little less mini. It actually ties exactly into that uh, European discussion. It was the game I had in mind that there was, uh, you yeah, know, the, the newer one takes the take that out of it. Yeah. As well as the, the um, it's on the setup. Here we go. Alex Kazik say, why did you place in the top central room? You're not first there anyway. I am. One, two, three, one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. I've got the, I'm first. I'm first because of that. This is a four point one. These are two points, so it's oh. going to give Stella more points at the fireworks. But this one, isn't it? That's that doesn't count to the majority. It's only the dresses. Oh, thank you for reminding me that, Alex. I should probably place it elsewhere. Is that okay? Sure. It's still, oh. a, it's still four points. It is still four point, and I've done it. That's okay. You can get. I guess. Uh, yeah, it's still four points. I know. Otherwise, I would have gone somewhere else. Like this you one. You can save a coin down there. Yeah, is that okay, Sarah? Sure. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Get your coin back. Thank you. Yeah, I've, uh, I forgot about the um, the majority. So, taryn has got the gold one. Hopefully, he won. You got it? Hmm? You got that correct? Um, yes, I've, I've locked that one down. <laughs> so sad. Okay, I'm going to play that and pay 14. To do another of this, okay, and then get a threat for no reason at all. That doesn't doesn't actually give me any anything, so I'm not gonna get the threat. Okay. Okay, and then for my last one, I'm going to do two decorations. Oh. Um, <laughs> Which uh, fun for, is fun fair really necessary if you have unfair? Um, oh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, question uh, I have an auntie Stella I've never s s seen her seen her sober lol <laughs> well this auntie Stella you never seen her drunk probably it's the opposite I hardly drink anything if I drink it just like a taste of a sip of the plum wine which is which I like it because it tastes nice and plum okay. I like to eat, it, eat the plum yes yeah. there all right so I spend 18 to do this one and two to do this one Milo, Taren will win. I can guarantee. I can bet my bottom dollar Taren will win. Although we are married now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, that's that's it. the end. That's it. Team Stella. Sorry, Wyan. I will. 
I'll disappoint you. I know so that. At the moment, the score is 1 0. Yes. And Which I win. That's start, it. Let's just not. <laughs> let's, let's start not. adding some points. All right. All right. End of the game. Everyone should we um should we focus on this? We zoom in a little bit on this. Um, we don't need the player board. Uh, we can. We'll we'll mess it up trying to do that. That's okay. Um, I like the risk. <gasps> there you go. It's a little bit zoomed in, just a touch. Everybody. Oh, there. Okay. So first things first. Yeah. <laughs> I just not falling for it. Your, your stomach's rumbling. All right. Um, let's bring it down so we can see the score track. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first things first. One. It's already uh, tight, actually. I can't really make it tighter. Sorry, everybody. First thing is we give up 10 livre for one point. I've got that. I so don't have it. One. So, and then um, we've each got six remaining. So The tiebreaker. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty tough. Is... Not gonna happen. All right. The next thing: okay, there you go. evaluate any bonuses on employee cards plus the first player token. So you got three. So I got three. So it's for actually the first here, and a reminder on the top board. So I got three for the first player token, and then I get two for each pair of a uh, gentlemen's and ladies. So what I've got is uh, two of everything except three blue. Pretty sure one. Two, sorry, three, four. Because I optimized my statues, so that means I've got four pair. Which and we is didn't, eight. Uh, we didn't do any of round income. Thanks, Alex. Oh yes, correct. Let's count. Um, so I get five. Uh, I get fourteen. So that actually takes me up to twenty. So I get another two points. So what's me? What's me? You've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So, another two. So you get another two points and you hold the tie break. Yeah. Thank you for that. Okay, uh, you scored your 11. Yep, which is, which comes from this card, um, because I have 11 cards, so I've got 11 points. Yep. And then the next one is here. So this is the majority on each area. Uh, we start with this. You done? Yep. yep. Um, and just to clarify the tie break, so sorry, this one is the tie break if this one doesn't break the tie. Got it. Okay. Okay. So this one is um, we assess the majority. So yep. this one, me. So I got five. You got two. Um, oh no, no! I've got the majority there. Still, because I've got because it's two. It's two each. Ah, oh, that's and right. That's it. exactly what you say. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. Never, so, never mind. I have two. Ooh. Over here, I've got two to one. Mm -hmm. So four to one. Yeah, I've got something here. Three. Measly three. Up there, it's three to one. Here, it's completely tied. So two all. Marie's going to play this tonight. Yay! And here it's six. You had both fun playing, that's the most important thing, that's correct. So for me, winning is not everything, although you try to win. Um, but I know halfway, I feel like my game is not the A game. So that's uh, okay, we're still playing with Tarrant and with all of you, witnessing my, you know, my lose. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I only just saw for two players, there's no second place points. So. <gasps> So I've got to take all the second place oh, points no. off. So I lost one for that. I you lose two I forgot for that. about that. Thank you. Uh, no, we are tied there. You lose one for that. Yeah, that's so and sad. Two for that. Yeah, I would have done differently. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, I, I only just saw this yep. one as well. Same thing up at the fireworks. Mm -hmm. So the first tiebreaker is having a spot on the three. Mm -hmm. So I'm really losing badly here. So that um, means... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's whoever has the most expensive breaks the tie. So I get six for that. Head to head. Um, Corallo Rococo looks interesting, but I think I'd like to be able to play before buying it. I don't know if it is on... Maybe somebody put it on TTS. Neon dice. May I ask you bought married? You're so cute. Yes, we are. <laughs> it's actually not yeah. long ago. 
Uh, November. November last year. Near end of November. Yes. With only 10 people because of COVID. Plus because that was the plan. Plus, <laughs> but I was wearing mask. Like, oh, mm. it's a lazy mask. That's true. But there are some that is not, anyways. Yep. Um, All right. Um, we've got... If so this was silver medal yeah. taker, second is really first. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so who said that? Beyond that 13. I love you beyond that 13. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um, I think Deluxe Solutions are much more fun to play. I agree. Um, all, although say when playing a game, the goal is to win, but the goal is that important, it's not the winning. It's, yeah. But it, it's the goal that is important, not the winning. That is correct. Yep. Well said. Alright, so we score statues. I get eight points for each of my statues. Mm. Do you get eight for your statue? One, two, three, four. Yes, you do. Look at this. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much people you marry, just um, you and that's important. That's correct. I'm, I'm like, okay, married or not married. I'm like, yeah, whatever, as long as, you know, I'm stuck with Tarrant. Because Terence is a good person to, to be stuck with, according to me. Yes. And happy Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Alright, let's count up the, the final dresses mm -hmm. and things. So you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I give you 63. And you'll be like, whoop! <laughs> yeah, I Yay. got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 20, 6, 7, 8, 29, um, 41, 47. Oh, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Um, I never actually, I haven't actually got defeated like this much for a while now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I, I know, I know what happened. I was really not efficient in my, I, I did a few mistakes earlier in the round and I didn't actually catch up as you did. Anyway, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, I think um, all the, I guess, yeah, I, got, quite, a I got a lot of the majority. Brutal, yeah. That's because I mis, uh, miscalculated the majority. Otherwise I would have. Right. Focus on a certain majorities, then use knowing that for two players you yeah. don't get second. Yeah, that's true. I yeah. and I hadn't known that either. So it was a more uh, significant technical error on my part. That's okay. What's the thing? I'd rather play it right rather than oh, we thought about that. Like just give me point. No, like for two players, unfortunately, they don't get points. That's a huge swing, actually. It ends for two up players, being... yeah. Because it means, you know, this is, this is effectively eight points in a two-player game, so... Because, yeah. yeah, if you would know that, you know, if I would know properly and, like, it's my, my homework. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, same here. I, I lucked, into, lucked into them, but, you know, I was trying to get, ooh, I can double three points, but mm -hmm. when it's an eight-point or even a four-point swing for this majority... Have we scored this? We have, yes. Okay. And that was the other... That was another benefit. I... I fully optimized this bit so I got 20, mm -hmm. 24 um, yeah. 16 out of that so clearly somebody didn't read the rule book and I'm looking at Tarrant <laughs> no it's okay I'm it's not, true I, I didn't read the rule book because <laughs> you taught it last time yeah well, we played four players last time true yeah I only have myself to blame but still hopefully you enjoy that that's basically it two players is more cutthroat which means it scales down well and congratulations good game good game Good game. That's okay. I'll, I'll get to um, some of the shout us. So um, I got a big pitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a big beep. Um, shout out us lunch. So thank you so much for that. Shout out me lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good job, Taryn. And just joking. So much fun to watch. Taryn should wear a sweater with a more color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for thematic for this. Three colors. It's plenty. What's zoom in? Three colors. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, repeat. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, this ends that four player is not as cutthroat. Four player is it cutthroat? You know, Terence Valentine's gift. Is there, is there a Terence channel for what Stella's 
first Christmas gift, a uh, Valentine's gift. Hmm? Okay, sorry. We know Terrence Valentine gift. Is there a Terrence channel for what Stella Valentine gift? No. What does that mean? Please, hmm? please let us know. Terrence, like, hmm? um, neon dice boy. I think Rococo is more balanced. Yeah. So congratulations. You beat me well and square and very good and. Yeah, I think I think you're right. At four players, it's less cutthroat because the the majorities don't have such a huge impact, and so you can afford to um, you can afford to build your own game a little bit more. I think this part becomes more cutthroat. What mm -hmm. we found at four players was if you weren't first player, you were left with absolute dregs, um, and so there was quite a lot of fighting over the first player. When we played it for. Mm -hmm. I did not like me getting the first play wasn't really utilized and I've used the goal employer to get something that is not necessarily goal. I could have used it somewhere else. I could have kept it for the next round to get a better card because there's one round I did not have a goal. The second last round I did not have a goal one. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say it then because if Tarrant know, it doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's always for me like both times I've played I've kept my deck extremely thin yeah that's um, actually good made Strategy. sure I had enough gold to do what I wanted going forward I I mean I guess that's balanced out by the card that gave you 11 points as well mm. but if two players are doing that and only one can get it then yeah this becomes you almost have to do this early early in the penultimate round to make yeah. sure that you can this is quite a waste though like going there you do you do get five mm -hmm. but then you I think you did to... lose a few actions doing this overall I yeah was... and then look I've got like spare um, I, I really I think that's what went wrong I didn't I was not efficient mm -hmm. and I you know obviously I didn't I didn't um, I didn't know about the two play variants mm -hmm. yep yeah because I was getting a lot of cheap I was doing a lot of things where I was just picking one up and, and building it right away. And I didn't have to get a lot of this because I stocked up early. Okay. Um, and it just happened that, yeah, the, mm. the cheaper dresses that earn you those majorities are probably more valuable at two player. That's a good question. Uh, Coral, sorry I missed the start. Is first player something you bid on during the game? It doesn't rotate? No, it doesn't rotate. You have to spend an action to get the first player for the next round. Yeah. Unless even in the last round, then you get three points instead. Yeah, and you get five, uh, you get five coins for doing it. Yes. As well. And it's kind of, from a money perspective, it all balances out because everything is more expensive when you've got full choice. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it gives you the choice of what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is uh, our Rococo. So last chance for everyone to in, to fill up the form at mipleuniversity.com slash giveaway. And the uh, password is Taylor. What's Terence doing? Like, I'm sucking something there. <laughs> Picking up the box again. Okay. So uh, we will draw um, this very shortly. So good luck, everybody. We've got so far. Uh, 86 entries so we will pick one mm -hmm. as we always do and um, the winner will be contacted after this by me yes all right are we lock are we closing it there or a little more time um what we are going to do this so this so I, I stream usually this weekend or on the weekend which is on saturday us time evening or our mon monday morning but i also usually friday as our sunday morning but sure. i also do another stream on thursday evening slash australian sunday morning uh friday, friday morning, morning. <laughs> friday morning um and this coming one i'm planning to play uh waddle thank you Waddle Downtown, which is a new game with Bing Wins from WizKids, yes. with my friend. But I don't know if this is still going ahead or not, because if lockdown still continues, I might not. So we'll have to reschedule that one. Yes. And the next one is um, playing The Princess Bride on Dice Tower on the same day. So this Thursday slash Friday. So hopefully that's going ahead. And then next week, this similar slot yes. is a surprise. <laughs> it's something it's going to be something alright 
Um, we'll decide. I'll decide. I'll um, I'll announce closer. So we'll announce on social media and we'll put it a few days beforehand on YouTube as well, so yes. you can know and plan. But we will always be. Uh, we haven't missed one thing, even on our even on our wedding day. We just didn't do live playthrough. It was something else. But let's. Um, we have now eighty-eight more late ones. Ah, so eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. So, so one person per entries. One entry per person. Sorry, one entry per person. Um, we've got. Let me quickly have a look. Oops, drop that. Do you want to put this away for now? Because. I need to... That's right, it blocks off most of the screen yeah. if they're both there. Would you like to come closer to me? And Taren will use his power to make this appear. Ready, Taren? Missed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we've got 88. 88. 88, 88, 88. Mm, this is the last one. Yeah. Alright, so... Close it quickly a minute. Uh, what does it look like? Um, yes, it looks like this. So, number 88 is Ruben, Landon, and number one is Bryce. So, we will draw now. Din, 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 din. So, here's 88. You got that little cage ball that Taren will control with his mind. And then we pick a winner. Din, din, din. Congratulations, number 11. We've got a film. Yep. All right, all right. Let's find out who that is. Okay. Um, let me put it there. Oh, I forgot to put the animation of prepared because she won the game. Anyways, was it number 11? Yes. Let's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Someone, Someone green! Congratulations! You won a copy of Rococo Deluxe. Let me just quickly have a look, actually, just to. Well, I, I saw uh, Solomon's comment on, on the thing. Um, yes, congratulations. congratulations. Solomon's is from Australia. Won a copy of the Hogwarts Deluxe. I'll contact you after this, of course. Um, and Taryn, would you, uh, since you win, you deserve this. Ready? <laughs> so cool. Yay! <laughs> we know you have to push, push your face forward. <laughs> Congratulations on winning Rococo. I've prepared it just for you. So it's everybody, it is a good game. So um, regardless of who's winning, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that you're winning. Um, and some, everybody, you've been so great. Um, you know, chatting with us and asking questions and watching us. Um, this has been um, really a good stream and it really helped us as well. We got a subscriber as well, and then we've got a, a super chat, which is ten dollars, ten US dollars, which we're gonna use for lunch. Um, and hopefully, you're all going to come back next week, which we will announce a bit later. Anything else, Taryn? So thanks for Eagle Griffin Games for providing a copy of the giveaway. Yep. And once again, uh, happy Valentine's Day, happy Lunar New Year, and happy. Happy, Everything happy, else happy. In your lives. <laughs> in your lives, Taryn. People. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, and thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I haven't pressed press, so you look awkward. <laughs> Sorry, bye. Everyone, time for secret ending. This is Professor <coughs> Stella from Mipun University. Parent. Yes. What kind of exercise should you do after you eat fast food?
A lot. <laughs> Babies. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yay! Okay, next one. And last one. What kind of bird lives in a mansion? What, are, what kind of birds live in a mansion? Um, mm. I don't know. That's not the end. What That's kind of bird lives in a mansion? I'm trying to think of mansion puns. An ostrich. Ah, yes. Um, I was thinking that because it would be the big, like it's the biggest bird, so yeah. it like needs a bigger house, but. It's rich, ostrich. It's rich. Okay, one more, makes. one more. Okay. Mm. What is a bird's favorite subject in school? This would be appropriate with my wingspan. Like this. S science, because of all the beakers. Beak. Algebra. 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 Yay! Okay, last one. I promise. I promise. Last one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Repeat. Repeat who? 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 Oh, okay, that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.